In early 2002, the company I was working for had a business project going in Argentina, and I got sent down there right in the middle of an economic meltdown in that country. And this was a very rough period for them. There was huge unemployment, and so the Argentine crew was pretty psyched we were down there working on this project since most people were really struggling. Now, meanwhile, we had a lot of very expensive equipment and some of the dumber members of our entourage had been flashing dollars around. So we were a pretty tempting target. The assistant director of the local crew was this young guy from Buenos Aires, about five foot five with thick glasses. But to me, he had a sort of singularly infectious confidence. Like somehow you just knew around him everything was gonna work out. I had brought him an American cowboy hat as a gift, and whenever we got down to work, he would put it on for good luck. And on our next to last day, we were driving on this deserted road to the job site, and suddenly there was this army roadblock, which looked more than a little unofficial. And one of my Argentine colleagues said, oh yeah, this was a shakedown. They were gonna come aboard and rob everybody. But the AD just put on his cowboy hat and he jumped down the steps of the bus and he walked out to meet the three soldiers who were prodigiously armed. And they didn't look like they were real long on patience. Now, I couldn't hear what was being said, but I was watching it and our guy was speaking very calmly. And at first the soldiers were acting real tough. One of them stole the cowboy hat off his head and put it on. But the assistant director just kept talking in this very earnest and sincere way. And you could see the three of these soldiers start to finally soften up. Finally, the main soldier nodded and he waved us through. And the assistant director climbed back aboard and we were just about to drive on when the soldier in the cowboy hat stopped the bus again and motioned for the driver to open the door. And we all went, oh, here it comes. But he just wanted to give the hat back. And the following day, we were all flying home so I went to the little village church, which was really pretty, and I wanted to take some pictures. And the assistant director was in there, lighting three candles. And I asked him what he'd said to the soldiers at the roadblock, and he said he had been so scared he couldn't remember. But he'd gotten up early to say a little prayer for their mothers, and he said that somehow he knew when that guy returned his hat that Argentina was gonna be okay. <laughs>